Welcome to the CSTR, which stands for Continuous Steer Tank Reactor. It's here. Now, in this section, and from now on, we're going to cover kinetic reactors. Previously, we saw stoichiometric based reactors and equilibrium-based reactors. The only thing right here is that we do know the thermodynamics, but we do not know the times. We don't know how much this is going to take. For the other hand, we do know this because of the kinetic data. So very important to remember, these reactors are kinetic based, which means that we're going to have time as a important variable to analyze. CSTR can be used to rigorously model a continuous steer tank reactor. If you remember, tank reactors are literally tanks. You add A, you must mix completely and assume 100% ideal mixtures, I mean ideal homogeneous mixture, and you got B. Now important, once again, you're gonna know the reaction kinetics and the contents of the inside of the tank must be the same as the outside of the tank. I mean, not the mass per se, I mean the temperature, pressure conditions, etc. This is also good because we can use uh, simultaneous reactions, which maybe we have A converts to B. We got our model here. And then we know B converts to C. We got our model here, maybe. So we can add both reactions and see what's going to be the final product as well. Inputs, typical inputs are pressure, temperature, or duty. Now important that if you state the heat duty, the temperature will be calculated and vice versa. If you state the temperature, which will be isothermal, the heat duty will be calculated. Now this is the form that opens with the CSTR. The specifications are the most important part right here. Operation conditions, once again, you gotta state pressure and or temperature or duty. So if you state temperature, then the duty will be calculated. If you state duty, the temperature will be calculated. Important to also state the type of phases and the specification you're going to give. Either you select the volume or the resonance time. Okay. In this specific case, we selected the volume of the tank, which is about 140 liters. And therefore, it will calculate the time requirements. Okay. Also, you can select pressure drop. Oh, sorry, pressure drop goes here. You just need volume, resistance time, and volume fraction. So let's start working with a workshop right here. Let's start with an isothermal reactor. 